Okay, so all we've been talking about for the last 40 minutes in the studio is how good it smells in here. Everyone's talking about it. Here's why. A little business food thing for you. A Long Island man with a rich history in the food business is trying to clean up the New York City hot dog cart business. That's no small task. Mm -hmm. Al is here to show us how Snap Dog is different from the other dogs. A lot of people obviously freaked out about the conditions of those hot dog carts. And they have good reason to be, and you guys are right, it smells so good in here. I've been really dying does. for the last few minutes. <laughs> Keith Tarman's family started delivering cheese by horse-drawn wagon here in Manhattan back in 1896. So it is really no surprise that he would get involved in the cart business. What is surprising is what some of the other hot dog carts out there are trying to pass off as beef franks. Oh. In a sea of hot dogs, in the middle of Times Square, Keith Dorman is on a mission. I just wanted to elevate every component of the New York City hot dog experience, you know, one hot dog at a time. After working a New York City hot dog cart himself, Dorman was pretty grossed out by what vendors were passing off as hot dogs. So he started his own brand, Snap Dog. Our hot dogs are made only with 100% premium beef. Uh, we smoke them the old fashioned way in a real smokehouse. And as I mentioned, every hot dog has the name Snap Dog and the word beef on the side of the hot dog. So now there's no more mystery. While a lot of other carts promise you beef hot dogs, there's no way to tell for sure. So Dorman went all the way to Pamplona, Spain to find these temporary casings that write the word Snap Dog right on the Frank. So there's no question what you're getting. The dogs themselves made right here in New York. Our facility is in uh, Hudson Valley outside of Albany in Troy, New York. And um, the company that makes my hot dogs is huge in corned beef, pastrami, and roast beef. So they use the trimmings from those quality cuts of meat to make my hot dogs with. The Dormans have a history of making food here in New York. His great grandfather started Dorman Cheese on Hudson Street downtown and is credited with being the first company to put paper between cheese slices. Dorman himself is trying to clean up the quality of New York hot dogs and the entire food cart experience. We're still trying to upgrade every component. We got the hand sanitizer rolling out in the coming weeks. So how are the hot dogs? We sent a pro to test them out, our intern Nicole, who you might recognize from the Good Day Hot Dog Eating Contest. Hi. Hi. Can I please get a hot dog with ketchup? Right now, Dorman says Snap Dog is an expensive undertaking. He sells to just about 30 of the 3,000 carts licensed in the city, but he sees a lot of upward potential. The uh, <laughs> idea of spending more than we're making is definitely our business model at this point, and hopefully, in time, you know, that will change. Dorman is set to sell his millionth hot dog in a couple of weeks, and he's well positioned to capture millennial dollars and appetites. That generation spends more money on food than their predecessors, but they really want better quality products. He is also here in our studio, guys, which is why it smells so good. Mm. And in the interest of keeping things uh, oh, look at you. clean wow. and healthy, Very I've official. got a, yeah, official, but here's the snap dog, and we've got a bunch. We have sauerkraut and their special onion sauce. You guys, can I hand you some? Sure, some sure. Do you, how do you like them? Uh, I love mustard. With Nick, Nick got my sold that one. <laughs> oh, Nick! <laughs> I got kraut here with mustard. Yes, you, that, you like that? That'll that, do. Yeah. Dairy. We so got sure. the mustard and the onions. His homemade onion sauce All with right, paprika, and there's a you plain one it. too. If you like plain, got it. Wow. <laughs> Very good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm going to start now because otherwise I won't be able to speak. Yeah. This onion sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. Homemade, very nicely spiced. Mm -hmm. Keith, what else is in that? A little cinnamon. Smells very paprika. nice. Yeah, it's good stuff. It, it's actually really good. It has a little gourmet High twist hot to dogs it. Dogs, smart thing. And you guys wouldn't lie. At 100% yes. beef. No, no, I'm, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want. No, this is actually. It has that snap that the New York City hot dogs that you don't want to eat have. It tastes just like yep. one, but a, a, a grade above, like a step above. So it's keeping it authentic. Us. You didn't take the New York thing away from us. Mm -hmm. Stephen was ate the whole thing. That's a sign he likes it. It's actually too. really good. <laughs> yeah. We got plenty more, guys. We got to bring some downstairs because right, the newsroom's going to kill us. All right.